the, the biggest challenge uh, of diagnosing uh, respiratory infections in children is just not knowing the etiology. My name is Utsav Pandey. Uh, I'm a senior clinical microbiology fellow at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. A lot of times the etiology of these upper respiratory tract infections isn't known. So when a patient presents with respiratory symptoms to their primary care provider or to the emergency department, because the cause of the disease is unknown, either the physician or the parents sometimes um, insist on putting the kids on uh, antibiotics. The use of antibiotics when it's not necessary is one of the most important contributing factors to antimicrobial resistance. It goes back to identifying what's causing the disease. Uh, so with syndromic panels, you have numerous targets available on a single panel. So doctors don't have to pick and choose which pathogen to look for. They can simply order a test that looks for several different pathogens. For example, the Kyostat panel looks for 20 different pathogens, 17 viruses, and three bacteria. We did a mini study with the Kyostat DX panel. We tested a total of 27 samples using uh, our standard of care method at our hospital and the Kyostat DX panel. And uh, what we found was that the performance of the Kyostat DX panel is very comparable to the current standard of care method at our institution. I think the main advantage of the Kyostat panel is workflow. So the time that it takes to set up a sample is less than two minutes. You don't need any additional equipment, which in itself is an advantage because it reduces the chances of contamination. It's a PCR assay, it's super sensitive. A lot of times you have a patient that's waiting at the primary care physician's office or the emergency department for these results. So I ha being able to provide these results within a period of hour or hour and a half is super important. At the end of the day, all of this has to do with patient care. I think keeping that in mind is what drives me. Kyogen. Sample to insight.